This video covers ADA configuration for EGX 400-600 series engravers. This chapter covers cover offset installation, auto raster inserter installation, and material setup and origin configuration. We will now install the cover offset hardware. First thing we want to do is remove the screws that hold the cover switch plate. Once the cover switch plate is removed, set it to the side and with a small pair of wire cutters you want to clip the tie strap, the lower tie strap, being careful not to cut the wires themselves. You want to go ahead and remove the tie down. The tie down holder, if you notice, is facing down. What we want to do is take that tie down holder and rotate it. 180 degrees. Once we rotate it, we want to go ahead and tighten the screw back up. Next, we'll take the long screws that come with our raster pen license kit. We'll place those on the cover plate. We'll then take our acrylic spacer, mount that. Go ahead and mount it back to the bracket and we'll go ahead and tighten that back in place. This allows the cover to accommodate the auto raster pen. At this point, once we have the cover switch plate remounted, we want to go ahead and take the excess wires and the supplied tie strap and we want to strap those to the tie down holder. And you want to go ahead and trim off any excess. At this point, we'll go ahead and remove the spindle cover from the carriage assembly. It's held with two Phillips screws on one on each side. Once we remove those, we're going to mount our extenders to that cover. Next, we'll take the cover extenders and peel off the backer. These extenders have a double-sided adhesive applied to them. And what we want to do is we want to line up the bottom hole with the hole on the cover. Once you get it lined up, we'll go ahead and press down on it so that way it sticks. We'll do the same thing for the opposite side. Once we have the extenders mounted 
to our spindle cover. We'll go ahead and take our spindle cover, line it up, and we'll go ahead and reinstall it. For the EGX 400-600, we're going to install the Auto Raster Inserter from Accent Signage Systems. The Auto Raster pin is going to mount onto the actual spindle block of the machine. You want to go ahead and loosen the set screws and then mount the Auto Inserter to the spindle block. Using the supplied hex wrench, we want to go ahead and tighten it down. And what you want to do is you want to ensure that the auto raster pin is square to the spindle and the tool. If not, the rasters won't insert properly. This is a better view that shows the pen is squared up to the spindle and the nose cone. If it's not square, you can make fine tune adjustments on the left and right side. Using a ruler, you want to measure from the center of the raster pen to the center of the spindle. The distance should be between 37 and 38 millimeters or 1.46 to 1.48 inches. This measurement is going to be used in our software. Now we're ready to set up our material. We'll start with our AS10s to hold down the material. We have our ADA compliant substrate, which will be used for our braille dots. And our tactile material, which has a 3M permanent adhesive, which is used for our pictogram and our raised text. We're going to go ahead and peel the backers off the AS10 sheets. And we're going to go ahead and set these down onto the table. Depending on the size of your job, you may require additional AS10s. Once we have the AS10s in place, we'll go ahead and take our ADA compliant substrate We'll go ahead and peel off the plastic protective layer and we'll go ahead and mount that. You want to make sure you square it up and mount that on top of the AS10. On the controller we want to press the menu key until we get to the home view menu. want to select home and press the enter key. We want to make sure that the nose cone is over the lower left corner of our material. Using the arrow keys, you can move the carriage into the position so the tool is over that lower left corner. Then you'll press your XY origin set button and press the enter key to set that value. Once we're done, we'll press the menu key until we get to the I.O. Others menu, select Others and press Enter. 
want to make sure that revolution is turned on. We'll press the menu key to auto Z control. And at this point, we'll go ahead and leave it in the off position. We want to go ahead and make sure the Z screw is locked as well. And then we'll press the menu key until we get back to our default menu. At this point, using the arrow keys, we want to bring the auto raster pen over a flat area of the material. We'll go ahead and loosen the screw on the front of the raster pen and lower it and lock it in place. We're going to set our zero position for our auto raster inserter. To do so, we'll go ahead and use the Z minus key to bring the pen down to the surface of the material. We'll continue pressing the Z minus key until the spring compresses roughly 1 16th to 1 32nd of an inch. If your tool is still installed, might be a good idea to remove it as to not damage the material. So we want to go ahead and compress the spring as you see here. So when we press the Z minus key, you'll see the spring compress slightly. Once it's compressed, we're going to press the Z origin set button. We want to make sure Z0 is highlighted and press the enter key to set that value. We'll now use the Z plus button to bring the Z up off the material. We'll arrow over to Z2 and press the enter key to set our Z2, which is our clearance. We can then press the menu key until we get back to the home view, select home, and press enter. We'll now loosen the screw for the auto pen and put it back in the up position and lock it in place. Please continue to chapter 3 of 3.